Good morning, friends. It's Wednesday. Guess what I have? Guess, 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 guess. A new cup. Isn't it cute? They had this one and a Stormtrooper cup, and I decided not to grab the Stormtrooper cup because they, I don't know, they weren't as cute. It was lighter color in the cup, and I like RTD2. I would have gotten anything like a Star, uh, I don't know, Yoda, um, Darth Vader, Chewie, but this is my new cup. It's big, and um, I don't even know how many ounces. Let's look, look at the bottom. I could lift it up a little bit because I drank some of my coffee, right? Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so I love my new cup. So I'll keep my other one a little chippy in the cupboard there and save it because somebody gave me that cup and I love it. I had two of them and one just totally smashed the floor and broke. And so this is the one. I know I'm weird, sentimental. People give me stuff and I can't like, you know, I can't part with it. So I got this cup, that last cup years ago from uh, a thank you because I did so much work for and helping people with the kids and stuff like that because I work with kids and stuff like that. So I love the cup and now I got this one. Me and my daughter went to the Disney store so I'm happy. I'll put the other one away for safe keeping and hopefully I'll 20, 30 years from now I'll look at the cup and I'll still remember why I have it. So <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. <clears> throat. I also got some other things from the Disney store. I'm going to go. Whoosh. And as I'm doing this, you can look at my nice, beautiful Marilyn that someone gave me. Isn't it? She beautiful. With little glasses. Got her in the mail. <clears throat> okay. Ta -da! Beautiful. There's a lot of sun coming in through the window. That's why I'm so bright. But... <clears throat> Okay, when I was a kid, I loved this story, and I used to have a little glass of viewfinder thing, majiggies that you click, click, and then the best part was the one with the dragon, and they had a 3D thing. Oh, it's just so cool. And I actually can barely remember the original movie, because I haven't watched it in so long, to be honest with you. I was like a little, little kid. But I remember that dragon, and I remember the witch type person there that is actually supposed to be Melissa Fett in the new Melissa Fett movies but now anyways always love that movie <clears throat> and I think she was the evil queen or something I don't know no she thinks she was a witch whatever no bad fairy yeah she always was a fairy wasn't she anyway as I argue with myself <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I'm gonna have to stop moving you for one second jeepers don't know what that was all about anyway so I love the movie Melissa as well. So I had to get this little thing because Sleeping Beauty has been always something that's kind of been like one of those, I don't know, do do look at the top here. Those stories that stuck with me as a kid. But I, I have to actually get the movie, the original. But I love Melissa and I watch it tons of times and I want a Melissa doll. So I'm going to be looking for that. Um, I have like a kind of fake a knockoff one that I like Cora play with, but I want a real one because, you know, we need the real thing. Anyways, love that movie. I love that angle of the story way better. So that is what I got. I don't know what's going on with my throat, but I can hear. <clears throat> Icky. Mm. Today I'm wearing my jewelry because I had a request of like, do you wear jewelry? And... Why don't you wear jewelry? Well, the, the reason I don't wear jewelry when I'm crafting and you don't see it is because I got to take it off because I'm going to get paint in it. I got paint in one of my uh, diamond engagement rings one time and it just totally wrecked and I couldn't. It was just um, caked in there so bad and it was like cement or something. It was just, I didn't even know what I did, what kind of paint it was. So this is my wedding-ish ring that I wear. Um, I got made for me because my original one was cutting me anyway, so it was the one of those, my original one was like the Walmart brand, and not to be rude, my husband bought it from Walmart, but I told him, don't buy it, just buy it from there, but big mistake, get one that doesn't have hollow because they cut you, eventually they, they kind of, when they're moving, you don't realize it, but they do, they do 
chap your fingers here and it's terrible so I ended up having to give it up so I got this one made because I was being cheap of course that's what happens when you're cheap so I got this one made um, for me and I got all the kids stones and my husband and mine stone and so that's all of our children and himself and me in there I'm the ruby he's the one of them <laughs> I think he's supposed to be. He's one of the white ones. When's his birthday? February. No, he's a purple one. Hey, hey, hey. Amethyst, right? Anyway, and then Charity's Amethyst. So, there we go. Those are my rings, and um, or that's my ring. I wear this one too out most of the time. I also have a cameo. My actually, that cameo, if you guys ever seen it on a video, is uh, the original ring he asked me to marry him with. So I like I keep that one anyway. So. But it doesn't go really well with anything else because it's like a big cameo. So I wear it sometimes on this hand. <clears throat> but anyway, and then these earrings here, I can only wear gold or bone. And I love bone, but I they keep chipping over the years. And then I haven't replaced them because I'm lazy and I don't go out to the mall much and stuff. But anyways, this is the earrings and necklace that I got from my mom. She got them twisted, wire twisted with gold. And it's amethyst. Amethyst? Amethyst. Amethyst. Amethyst? Min no, no, no. I'm thinking this. Um, um, Amorite. Jeepers. Creepers. Ammonite. Jeepers. So it's a fossil of a, like a sea creature, sh shelled sea creature type of thing, right? And it's really cool. And these colors in this one are really, really pretty. So if you look it up on the Google thingy me jiggy, this is the only thing I have of value besides my art supplies. <laughs> but um, yeah, she gave it to me. So one day I'm like, oh, can I borrow earrings or something like that? Because my ears were, I don't even know what it was. But she just gave me the whole set one day and I'm like, oh, cool. So yeah, there you go. That's what I got. And I do have uh, a coral, don't, 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 red. This is coral. Red um, pearls. And don't be mad at me, but it's pretty, so it's not black. If it was black coral, then you guys could be mad at me. And if it's black coral, I will not tell you. No, but I do got red coral pearls and this ring, so, but, sorry. It's pretty. Okay. Anyway, oh, and I wanted to share today, too, my watercolors that I was playing with. I was playing with my webcam and I think I figured it out I was playing with I don't know I was going on there and trying to get the um, the little buttons and trying to get to go up and down and I think I figured it out so now I got it so I have a couple of videos of me watercoloring because that's what am I supposed to do so I was kind of t doing this video and trying to look at my watercolor and uh, screen and I'll see if I can see it. it it doesn't look too clear but hey I'm just playing but this is one of my watercolors and I did this one with my water brush from Tim Holtz it is getting beat up this darn thing was really expensive it was like 16 bucks so I'm gonna have to buy another one eee. but I use it way too often and then I only have the small ones so they only have the small one and then the big wide one so I don't know so if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do about this, if I should buy different sizes or what, because I had a difficult time with my watercolor with this. I am, this is the one I used for it, my travel one, this one. And I found it so moist, and it, but I, again, I was using it in my cup and rinsing off the paint and then dabbing it on my brush, but it was getting really moist. So it's something I have to play with because I never really play with it with my watercolors. And this is my second watercolor that I used, but I didn't use it on this one. This one. But this one here, those are travel one I use all the time. So I made this just to play to make a video. And then I made this one. And this is the one where I used both my little travel one. And then I think I used my big... No, I didn't use my big one like this one. But whatever. Watercolor, watercolor. So this is my uh, Chinese water brush now. But I did use Chinese water brushes. But I, I, I totally painted this like not, not proper. Look at how it's not furry and pastel-y and beautiful like Chinese paint. It's 
like it looks like a Pokemon, but it's a goldfish. <laughs> but these are the brushes I did use for that. And I found this really to be fun because I love using these water brushes. I'm still not great on making thin points um, with things, so I have to scribble some thin stuff. But and hence why this little butterfly here turned into a flower in a jungle because I try to do butterfly body and legs and stuff and I made them way too thick and they look like a beautiful butterfly wings and hideous body and legs. So then I'm like, oh boy. And instead of discarding the whole thing, I just decided to play and add and play and make it look like some kind of unique flower in the rainforest. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So that was my play because I was kind of trying to figure out my video and play and I did put post those. So I thought, well, I'm going to share them in, in person. And as well with this little one here, my inspiration. Of course, I love poppies. Love, love, love poppies. But a while back, 2012, I drew a water, no, a pastel, oil pastel picture of this one. And... Um, and that's just kind of my rendition of it. So, yeah, this is my little, this is oil pastel too, but it's nothing really astonishing. I have no idea, it's just little flowers there, so. Playing with my oils, my old oil pastels, I don't think, I think that's probably the last time I played with them too, that's terrible. No, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so that is that. I do got to do some drawings and stuff like that on a video for you guys because some people have asked, oh, right, cover up for to see me draw. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of pressure because it's weird to do that in front of or on a camera. But I'll try it. I also my next project ish which I think I'm going to make a video of is the kids. They're going to, they're going to make some bird houses. They're going to paint these bird houses and it's so bright, oh. but they're going to paint these bird houses. So I have two of these small ones here and two of these big ones. So Kendra, Chloe, Cora, and Carly are going to do that. And we're going to have a video of that coming up because they want to paint and we're going to kind of, I don't know, do a bird house challenge. So that's going to be fun. And we'll see what they come up with. <laughs> and I did my birdhouse, and I haven't showed it yet, but I didn't do a video because I just want to kind of, I don't know, do it without a video. So this is my birdhouse, and this one was for Sunny, um, and I took so long because I was waiting for paints. And I was going to, I was waiting for so long, I thought, well, maybe I'm just going to have to, um, I don't know go somewhere and buy them because I was ordering them but anyway this is the um, chalk finish and I'm not sure what color it is I'm trying to look and it's just facing the wrong way so it's this is kind of a bluey so I did a two layers on here but that chalk finish you really don't need to do that and um, I sand it down with my emery board the soft one for your when I used to do my nails, get my nails done, but there's no point because I'm dyeing my nails every color. So I haven't done my nails in a little, got my nails done forever. Anyway, so then this is kind of a yellowy and you can't see it because the sun's getting it. And then I sand it all down. It looks nice. And these are my flowers I made and I did have a video, but it's not up because I don't have much of a video. It's just totally sitting in my computer files right now. But that's it. So this is the birdhouse I made for Sunny in the mem uh, her memory because she loved birdhouses and so that's that one. So pretty. I almost forgot. Someone who is important to me. Yoda! Got Yoda from the Disney store as well. He's supposed to flip over and you whine him but he doesn't tend to land on his feet. I think it's because he's like 900 years old. But anyways, this is my Yoda. Love him. He's so cute. So I've seen him and I'm like, nip. he's coming with me. Love him. So that is, uh, I think that's everything from the Disney store that I got. I was spoiled by my oldest daughter.
<laughs> Don't you love that? So I think that's like all the stuff that I have been up to this week. But I have gotten a few little things here and there like trims and stuff. I have a swap in our international crafters group. So it's called ribbon and trims. So I have some trims and stuff like that. So I've been picking up some trims and looking at some unique stuff. So that's pretty cool. And I have... Isn't that cute? It's cute. It's really bright to see. And I have something here that I'm going to work on. Just a second. I'm going to snip this off. Little tag off there. Duh! Does it look yummy? So, I have to figure out. I'm challenging myself to some grapes. I'm going to mix media these puppies and do something really cool. What? I do not know. But I'm going to do something too cool. And now that I showed you guys, the pressure is on. <laughs> but, <coughs> I think my throat's clearing up a little bit. Now I gotta cough. Okay. But, I bought these at the Dollarama and I thought, I just grabbed them. I don't know. I'm like, yes, look at these. What can I do with these? I don't know. I'm buying them. Throwing them in the cart. So, I'm going to do something with these puppies. I'm going to work on that this week. Mixed media. I'm going to alter some grapes. So, I know I usually don't let the cat out of the bag, but I thought this is cool. So, you guys get your minds going. Alter some grapes. So, these are just the ones that, like, you know, can you see the little... So, it's going to be something cool. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do with them. I know I've altered an apple before. What have I done with it? Altered apples. Enchanted apples. I don't know if you've seen that. I actually didn't do a video of it. Because I can't remember why. I didn't do a video. But here's one of my enchanted apples. And this was a fake faux apple from probably the dollar store or something. So this is one of them. And I wanted to, I was just in the mood to do the enchanted apple. I was in a little fairy tale mood. I don't know. And I have another one somewhere. Where is she? I didn't know. So I keep moving my my stuff around. So oh here she is behind Arnold. Arnold! He was guarding her. As I'm turning my back to you, how professional is that? Hey Arnold, keep an eye on that. So here's my other one. And this is my other enchanted apple. So these were two apples. I think one was red and one was green, but that doesn't matter. And this one, I um, put tissue paper all over. I did uh, gesso both of them. But uh, she's kind of got a little bit of a clown face. I don't know. I love her eyes. And I added that little paper flower that I made. And I made her dress and stuff. And I made her kind of like a little candy apple type of thing. <clears throat> so that's why I have a little stick in there. I just kind of put one of my dowels in. So that's something I did was... And I know I showed you guys, but I did the enchanted apples. So it was kind of like... So let's do a play with this guy. So I'm going to be working on this. My grapes. Altered grapes. So, it is possible. Trust me, anything is possible. So, anyways, I think I'll let you guys go with that. Um, thank you guys for commenting, because I know you guys, I love to hear your comments, so please comment. And, um, I just love talking to you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and, um, yeah, craft like a duck, and continue on with your journey of crafting, and being so awesome, and uplifting, and I'm playing with something now. Squirrel, I. You know what? I almost I was at. Um, I was at Bass Pro Shop, and I almost bought myself a little stuffed squirrel because that is, to me. I know a lot of people don't know what that means, but a squirrel. When I say squirrel, it means like, you know. You get distracted really easy, and you go off with something else. So that's my squirrel. But yeah. So anyways, thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Have a great week.